Once again, we are back with fractions exercise 3e 21 to 24 and really I tell you that making this video makes me very happy because we have really come to the verge of the exercise, isn't it? Therefore, really I am very happy like you people. You don't say that you people are not happy. So let's come to this Krishna who travels 25 kilometers and then he finds that 3 by 5 of his journey was still left. It is same. We, we are in a continuation with the previous one. So what we are going to do is let fraction of journey left is equal to 3 by 5. We are going to answer in the same style. Isn't it? So let number 21 let the total journey be 1 write it beautifully ok now fraction of journey left fraction of j o u r n u r journey left is equal to 3 by 5 of how much? 1 is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, he traveled 25 kilometers. So, how much did he travel after? After, after he, say, he says that the journey left was 3 by 5. This is the left journey. 3 by 5 is the left journey. Therefore, how much did he travel? So, the person, Krishna, traveled, okay, he traveled, 1 means total minus 3 by 5 part of the journey is equal to, take 5 as the LCM. Now, 5 1 times 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 by 5. So, this 2 by 5 is the journey he traveled and what I find that this fellow had traveled 25 kilometers. This, this means 2 by 5 is equal 2 by 5 of the total journey is equal to 25 kilometers. So, this is what I have to mention. Okay. So, at the end I will write 2 by 5 of total journey total journey is equal to 25 kilometer therefore my dear this total journey will be equal to 25 divided by 2 by 5 because we are transposing it is equal to 25 multiplied by 5 by 2 you should cancel it but since it will not get cancelled I'll get 125 by 2 kilometer is equal to mixed fraction 22 1 by 2 kilometer as the total journey total journey is equal to 62 1 by 2 Kilometer. And this is what they had asked us. What was the length of the journey? Length of the journey. So my length of the journey is equal to 62 1 by 2 kilometer. Isn't it? Now from a piece of land, one third is bought by Rajesh. This means one third buys Rajesh and one third of the remaining. So this means after we have found out one third, we are going to find the value of the remaining piece of the land. That is why we call it remaining wala sum, which is really very, very important. Wherever you will see this remaining, think that one question will be coming in the examina examination, whether I give or some other teachers. Isn't it? So, let the piece of land be 1 meter square. Okay. Number 22. Let the area 
of land be one meter square. Now, land bought by Rajesh is one third of this one meter square. Land bought by Rajesh is equal to one by third of one meter square is equal to one by three meter square isn't it meter square one by three meter square now as i said you have to find out a remaining remaining find out remaining because one third is bought by rajesh and one third of remaining is bought by manoj this fellow manoj buys buys from the remaining portion so let us find the remaining portion Therefore, remaining land, therefore, R-E-M-A-I-N-I-N-G, remaining land is equal to total minus 1 by 3, which was bought by Rajesh, which was, this was bought by Rajesh. Therefore, this is equal to, how do we solve? 3, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 by 3. This means 2 by 3 portion meters 2 by 3 meter square if total area is 1 meter square 2 by 3 portion is bought by is, is the remaining portion now this is not bought by Rajesh Manoj Manoj buys buys one third of this portion so Manoj buys land bought by Manoj land bought by Manoj is equal to is equal to 1 by 3 of 2 by 3 let us cancel so when we solve it we are going to get 2 by 9 2 by 9 portion of 1 meter square once again let the area of the land be 1 meter square. Land bought by Rajesh is 1 by th 3. So remaining is 2 by 3. Land bought by Manoj is equal to 1 by 3rd of 2 by 3. Means from beta 2 by 3, he bought 2 by 9 only. So what will be the remaining land or land unsold? Unsold will be equal to from 2 by 3 you subtract 2 by 9 and you are going to get how much you will be getting 3 3 times so 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 by 9 so you will be getting 4 by part 4 by 9 part of the land is unsold and what are they saying that if 600 meters square is left unsold they have given you the value of the unsold por portion also means 600 meters square is unsold means this 4 by 9 is actually equal to 600 meters square therefore 4 by 4 by 9 part of total land is equal to 600 meter square therefore beta total land is equal to 600 divided by 4 by 9 or 600 multiplied by 9 by 4 and when you cancel it for 150 times you will get 1350 meter square as the total total land total land is equal to 1350 isn't it okay now let's come to number 23 and in this 23 they're very easy i'll hardly take about about five minutes only isn't it a boy spent 3 by 5 of the money on buying clothes and 1 by 4 of the remaining once again this remaining wala sum came 
this means after you have found out 3 by 5 you have to find out the remaining portion okay so money in hand if initially he had rupees 2400 okay so money in hand was 2400 money in hand is equal to rupees 2400 this was the money in hand a boy spent 3 by 5 of his money on buying clothes therefore money spent money spent on buying clothes is equal to 3 by 5 of rupees 2400 when you cancel it 5 480 times is equal to 1440 rupees he spent on buying clothes now as I said that he spent 1 by 4 of the remaining so I have to find out the remaining therefore remaining amount is equal to remaining amount is equal to how much so the remaining amount will be equal to this 2400 minus 1401440 this is the remaining amount which is equal to 960 rupees and this fellow he the boy he spent one by fourth how much did he buy for how much did he buy the shoes he bought the shoes money spent money is spent on shoes is equal to how much better is equal to 1 by 4 of remaining 1 by 4 of remaining so 1 by 4 of rupees 960 is equal to how much let me cancel it for 240 is equal to rupees 240 so therefore the boy spent rupees 240 on his shoes okay now in question number 24 in question number 24 what I find that it is the easiest one why it is the easiest one just you need to concentrate over the uh, letters what they have written a boy spent 3 by 5 of his money on buying clothes ok fine I have understood and 1 by 4 of his money on buying shoes Achha, not remaining this means this is very easy the boy has spent 1 by 4 of his money in buying shoes and they have also given you the value of the money as 2400 therefore though they have tried to confuse you I am sure you will not get confused isn't it therefore the final solution of 24 how are you going to write it you will write in this way simply money spent on shoes is equal to 1 by 4 of rupees 2400 now let me cancel 4 1 times 4 and here 600 is equal to rupees 600 and this is your solution many children they do not even even go through the question only and they declare themselves as the losers that they are not going they will not be able to solve it please read the question properly I bet they are very very easy now when I I'll show you one magic that when I remove this page one more sheet will come over here in which there will be written 3 end of the chapter and at the end after thank you there will be a full stop bye